Welcome back to Cooking with Texas Chevy. Today, we're going to be making an all-natural dog food because we have a white multi poo and his eyes were really bad. We took him to the doctor. We did everything we could to get him to clear up and nothing seemed to work. So we started giving him this dog food and it all cleared up. It's, it still has occasionally there because, you know, the fur will get into his eyes. But other than that, they look amazing. So we're going to start with some H-E-B all-natural chicken breast. Carrots. Peas. And brown rice. You can make your own rice, but this is a simpler way. The way we are going to prepare this is by boiling pretty much everything and adding no seasonings at all. So we'll be starting with the chicken. So the chicken will be cooking for about 35 to 45 minutes. You can temp it to make sure it reaches 165 to verify it's done. And then we're going to end up pulling that out and putting that on the side in a bowl to cool off. Next we'll be adding the vegetables. I'll be doing two bags of carrots and one bag of peas and we'll bring that back to a boil. And once that starts boiling, we'll be adding the rice and setting the timer for right around 10 minutes. So everything will be done right about the same time, the vegetables and the rice. While the vegetables are cooking in the rice, we can tear apart the chicken. You can use a blender, you can use two forks, or you can do it like me and just tear it apart by hand. So now we have the chicken torn apart, the rice and vegetables cooked and drained. And when we drain this, we like to put a bowl underneath the strainer to catch a lot of that broth because we can use it for multiple different things. We actually like using it for our tamales. Now we'll just mix it together. I like starting with the rice. I'll both put both bags into the chicken and stir that up together really well. And then add the vegetables. Somebody smelled it cooking, so they ran into the kitchen to stand behind me, hoping I drop something so they can eat before it's time. If you're adding the vegetables after the rice, throw a couple spoons in there and mix it together that way. Because if you just throw it all the vegetables in at once, they'll just go everywhere. So throw a couple spoons in, mix it together, throw a couple spoons in, mix it together again. Based on the size of your dog, it'll determine how much you feed them. Our dog's smaller, so we give them about one and a half to two cups of food. Once we have it mixed together really well, I'll be leaving it on the counter to cool, stirring it occasionally to get some of the heat off the bottom. And once it's 100% cooled, we'll be placing it in bags, portion size. And then I'll put four in my refrigerator and the rest in the freezer. And once I get down to two bags, I'll take another two out of the freezer and go like that until it's done. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked the video, enjoyed it, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I hope this helps. It really made a difference in our dog and we hope it does the same in yours. Thank you.